Hi, I'm Anne-Marie from the Amgen Biotech Experience and I'm going to show you how to unbox Lab 3. So the first thing you'll notice is there's three sizes of gloves in your kit, so the small, medium and large. To make it easier for everyone in the class, you should leave these at your bench. And as well as the gloves, we've also given you a bin bag to put them in, so you should also leave this at the top of your bench. So only the gloves can go in that bin bag. You'll get a separate bag for your gels when you're finished the gel electrophoresis. So for this lab, students will be in groups of three. So per each three students, you'll give them their DNA samples in the blue cooler box, which will be in the freezer until you need them. You'll give them a P20 pipette that will be set to 20 microliters as such. You'll give them a box of tips and a small waste beaker. And at the end of the class, all the waste beakers will go into this waste beaker with the lid. You can also leave this at the top of your desk. Now, two groups of students can use the same gel, so you should set up three or four workstations for six or eight students. So per six students, you should give them their mini one apparatus. So for each set of six, you should give them the mini one tank the lid that goes on it and the adapter. You'll also give them their TEA buffer and their buffer waste. When you're finished with the TEA buffer in the mini one, put the funnel in the waste beaker and use it then at the end. The gels that have been stored in the fridge since you got the kit, you can take them out. We've left them in their gel trays which slot into the mini one apparatus. So the gel trays slot in the size as you can see here and you should hear a little click when they go in. So make sure you match the plus and the minus to the inside of the mini one tank. So using the small flask you should measure 125 milliliters of TAE buffer. If you measure more than this the green light will flash and the current won't run through the gel. So when you're pouring in the gel make sure you cover all the wells and make sure there's no air bubbles between the gel and the slide. If there is any air bubbles, you can take the tray out and push it down harder and squeeze all the air bubbles out. When the students are using their DNA samples, you can give them the microtube racks and they can use each of them in it. And the DNA ladder will be provided as well. That's the unboxing of Lab 3. Good luck with your lab.